Hi guys and welcome to a short video where I will show you how to remove an oil seal. I made this video as a response because a lot of people were complaining about my tutorial video on how to remove the crankshaft oil seal. I sincerely apologize because I wasn't able to show you the crucial part which is how I removed the oil seal in my previous video. Just pry the oil seal with a flathead screwdriver or anything. So here's what the old oil seal looks like compared to the new ones. You can clearly see that I skipped the removal process of the oil seal. Instead, I just explained there on how you will get that oil seal out because my camera ran out of battery and I was in a hurry during that time. I want to say sorry to Robert Garcia, Don Baker, Chris Ramsey, and to all other viewers out there who have already watched my crankshaft video. I really appreciate your comments and thank you very much. So this is a straightforward video on how to remove an oil seal. Here I will demonstrate two things. The first one is the screw method, which I don't recommend but it works for other people. I'm gonna show you how it is done and why I do not recommend it. The second one is the nail method, which works well for me and this is what I would recommend. By the way, I will not show you how to remove the oil seal using a flathead screwdriver because it is hard to do and also an improper way because you could damage the outer surface of the housing. I did say in my crankshaft oil seal removal video that you should use a flathead screwdriver. I'm sorry for my mistake. Please do not follow that. But if you insist or you wanted to do it that way, I have a tip for you at the end of the video. Thank you very much. First is the screw method. Grab a nail and a hammer. Poke the side portion of the oil seal. Then grab a screw with the sharp ends. I will screw it into the hole that I made. Just a reminder, be careful not to touch the surface of the shaft while tightening the screw. This is just for demonstration purposes only. If you're gonna use this method, it's better to use a smaller screw so that it would be safer. My screw is too big and there's a small clearance left between the shaft and screw. Next, pull the screw with the regular pliers. In this method, I wasn't able to pull the oil seal since it has gasket sealant which makes it harder to pull and someone has to hold the engine head. Usually, it is done on both sides, so I'll poke another hole and put a screw on it. You can also use a penetrating oil to alleviate the situation. Use a nail and a hammer to poke the oil seal. After that, pull the nail and bend the ends. Bend it in a 90 degree angle or more like a hook. In short, you will use the nail as a hook to pull the oil seal. Insert the nail and use irregular pliers to put it in place. Just bend the nail again if it is straight ends. Once you put it in place, pull the nail. And there you have successfully pulled the oil seal. The nail is placed on the groove of the oil seal, which is safe. On the other hand, you can see the potential risk of the screw method. But still, it depends on what screw you will use and how will you do the method. So it's up to you on what method you want to use. 
for me, I personally prefer the nail method. Let's say you want to install an oil seal, but how will you do it? It's simple. Be sure to lubricate the oil seal and gently put it in place. Use a deep socket to push the oil seal. Hit it with a hammer a few times and the oil seal is now in place. And there you go, it worked again. If you want to do the flathead screwdriver method, try to use something like a cloth, rubber, or anything to somehow prevent damaging the outer housing. That's all and I hope that helps you. Thank you very much and God bless.